Welcome back to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. We're not going to have a people in places this week. We're going to take a break because we've got to make an announcement that a lot of people know about. In July, Southside Sports Bait and Tackle, owned by Ken and Rose Maurer, they sold it. They sold it to Steve Lowe. Lowe Steve took over the guiding and the store. So we decided to take a look at what he's doing. Uh, beginning of July, I took over from the previous owners, Ken and Rose Maurer. They had the shop for 32 years. It's a great established clientele, location, just fabulous shop. I had the chance in my life to take the adventure after leaving a long time office job with a great company. This, I felt this was just my calling and with the help of Ken to be able to show me the path and, and give me such a great you know, footprint of a location, off we came. Not gonna reinvent the wheel. Like I said, great shop. We have a great, great area for trout fishing, bass fishing, walleye. Up and coming catfish is a hot thing. Everybody wants to catch a big fish. Catfish are out there and they're getting bigger and bigger. So when you're talking about catfish, hey, I, I grew up with a giant chunk of lead and a hot dog, but there's other things and stuff that you can buy just to specially look to catch catfish. Oh yeah, yep. I mean, we have an end rack here where more for the dedicated big tackle trying to catch the giants. The heavy line, the night lights, the big scales. <laughs> yeah. Rattles for running like a live bluegill. Oh, no kidding. This is to impart, to keep the bait up off the bottom, at, away from the crayfish, away from the slime, keep them up in there and let them, they'll hear them. They'll hear that bait struggling. And for the guys that head up north for salmon and steelhead, I started to add a little thing. That's something near and dear to me that I like to do. In this area, it's so popular. Just trying to breathe a little bit of freshness into everything and keep evolving as we go. So Steve, you said you want to keep up with the times, not mm -hmm. only like with the new gizmos and gadgets, but the time of the year. Yes. People are thinking steelhead and salmon, yes. right? Up yep. in, the, up in the, the Salmon River and Lake Erie. Let's go over here and show me this display and what's in your hand right there. So something new we added this year for the people that want to head up as the migration start into this fall, winter, spring season is some stuff to center pin fish with. And you can float fish, bobber fish with a spinning rod. I also have some things here for the salmon guys right. that need. Enough to get you going, fill your vest, get on the water. And things that, stuff. things that you normally wouldn't have if you're just a Pennsylvania fisherman, like in the river, like the spawn net and all yes. this kind of yep. stuff. Yes, cures, spawn nets, beads, jigs, hooks, basically everything to fill your pack to get you on the water. Did you ever think that bobber fishing, call it a float, bobber <laughs> fishing would be so popular? It, it is, and it's growing. And it's such a simple thing from a kid watching a bobber on a pond. Right. To catch so, a steelhead on the river. Yes, yes. There's always a better mousetrap <laughs> coming out there, but you still have your core stuff. You're still gonna catch them on your original baits. Everything comes back into fashion, goes out of fashion, but we're gonna keep up with it and keep growing. Where are you located in Sunbury? Uh, 1051 South Front Street, which is Route 147. And it's pretty really close to the Faber Dam, right? We are just a few hundred yards from Faber Dam. It's literally right behind the shop with a boat ramp right down the street. So good luck, Steve, on your purchase and your guiding service. Good luck to Ken and Rose on your retirement. We're gonna take a short break. When we come back, we're gonna give away some lures.